Hi! Welcome to the School of Mango Anime. In this video, I will walk you through the very basics of Mango Animate AM. You will learn, the user interface of Mango Animate AM. Basic editing and animation skills. Let's get started. This is the screen when you open up Mango Animate AM. It shows the projects and templates that you've edited recently. It also offers a wide range of pre-made animation video templates. You can click the template to download and customize it. Right here, you can click New Project to create a new blank project. Click Open Project to open an existing Mango Animate AM project. And Convert PowerPoint allows you to import your PowerPoint file into Mango Animate AM. Here is the editor, where you create and view your designs and animations. It has five sections. Scene Timeline Library Canvas Toolbar On the left side, the scene panel displays all the scenes in thumbnail view. In this area, you can add, duplicate, replace, delete scenes, and so on. To add a new scene, click this button, which will bring up this window. You can add a blank scene or a template scene. Drag and drop to change the order of scenes, quick and easy. This button allows you to add scene transitions. You can customize the transition in this window. Click the play button to preview. On the right side, the library allows you to get access to all kinds of assets, such as shapes, texts, roles, animation widgets, and effects. To add an asset, simply drag and drop it to the canvas. You can see that the right side panel changes once I've added this triangle. So I can change the opacity, color, and all other settings about this triangle. To upload your own images, videos, SWFs, or other assets, click the Add button. For example, I want to upload an image. Click the Add Local Image button. Select the image and import it into AM. To make it faster and easier, just drag and drop the image. Just like this. You can drag and drop any asset into AM. Mango Animate AM also offers a library of animated characters. Each character comes with various motions and facial expressions. To add a character, click the Roles tab, the Roles panel will pop up. Select a character and choose a motion. The character will be added. Adjust the size and position of the character. On the character timeline, click the plus button to add different motions and expressions. Click the play button to preview. Canvas is the area where you create your scenes and preview your animations. Roll the mouse wheel to zoom in or out. You can hold down the left mouse button to move the canvas around. Here are some canvas options you can use. View Canvas allows you to navigate back to the current camera you are working on. These two buttons allow you to lock or rotate the canvas. Here, you can change the aspect ratio. Or click the custom camera ratio button to apply a custom ratio. The top toolbar will be activated once you select an object. You can arrange your objects easily, changing the layering, flipping, or aligning objects. Select the target object, select a layering option you want. In this example, the egg has been brought to the front. After adding different objects to the canvas, you can use the alignment tool to align objects easily. To align several objects, hold down the shift key while clicking the objects. Select an alignment option. In this example, three objects are aligned to the left. The timeline presents the duration and animation effects of all the objects, 
allowing you to manage all your elements in one place. Here, these buttons allow you to add cameras, backgrounds, background effects, subtitles, mask effects, and filters to your scenes. Once you have placed an object on the canvas, a corresponding timeline will be added. You can see that the timelines line up on the timeline area, from the bottom up as you add more objects. Next, let's see how to add animations. Mango Animate AM features hundreds of animation effects. You can apply entrance, emphasis, and exit effects to objects. To add an entrance effect, double-click the entrance effect block of the target object. Select a desired effect in the pop-up window. Follow the same steps to apply an exit effect. To add an emphasis effect, click the plus button, select an effect, and hit OK. If you want to apply more emphasis effects, simply repeat the same steps. Next, let's see how to adjust the duration and position of animation blocks. To change the duration, drag the left or right edge of the target block. You can see that the duration changes when dragging the edge. Click and drag the target block and move it to the desired position. If you want to move multiple blocks at one time, hold down the control key while clicking blocks, then drag them to a different position. To move multiple timelines, hold down the shift or control key while clicking multiple timelines, then you can drag and move them at one time. When multiple timelines are selected, the buttons here will be activated. You can use these to adjust the start and end times of the animation blocks easily. Just like this. Easy peasy. Camera helps achieve natural transitions and guides viewers from scene to scene. Mango Animate AM offers an easy to use camera tool to help you create different camera movements, such as panning, zooming, and rotating. Let's see how to use the camera. To add a new camera, click the plus button on the camera timeline. Select a camera option you want. A corresponding camera layer will appear on the canvas. Select the camera layer, then you can move. Resize. Or rotate the camera. You can also change its duration and position by dragging the camera block. Panning the camera. Select the camera, resize, and move it to a proper place. Then you can pan horizontally or vertically. Zooming in and out. To zoom in or out, add a new camera, resize the camera, and move it to a proper position. Repeat the same steps. Let's add a new background, so we can see the movement from camera 1 to camera 2 more clearly. To publish your project, click the Publish button. The Publish panel will appear. Select a format you want. Video or animated GIF. Customize the advanced options and click Publish. That's all for this tutorial. For more information, visit mangoanimate.com.